Hey guys, it's Andy from Tight Assets Fitness Training. Good to see you guys again. And keeping up with my promises, we're going to take you through a workout today. Now, I just wanted to say again how important it is at this time to reduce any unnecessary contact with each other. So we're doing some videos here. And again, to promote things, um, if you want to take me up on my offer, I'm still offering one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions. You just got to book some time with me. And we'll do uh, whatever video chat, whether it be FaceTime or Hangouts or whichever you prefer, uh, we can do a personal session through that where I can critique you and take a look at how you're doing, uh, making sure you're doing your exercises properly. And remember, I'm not charging anything for this at all. It's going to be completely free. So send me a private message and I'll be happy to take you through your own individual private workout. But let's take a look at what we're going to do for today. So I'm going to take you guys through a body weight workout because I know a lot of you guys don't have some of the equipment that I might have in my home gym here. And we're going to stick with some minimalistic exercises uh, so that everybody can follow along and get a little bit of something out of it. I'll also be going through and progressing and regressing some of those exercises so that you uh, can find something that you can do even though uh, that exercise might be something that looks challenging and hard. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we're going to be doing a body weight workout today. So what that means is we're going to be doing an exercise program an exercise circuit entirely with our body weight because I appreciate the fact that not everybody out there has fitness equipment at home. And with a lot of you guys being home right now, this is probably a good time to show you guys how to do stuff with just your body weight. So here's the circuit that we're gonna be doing today. I've got four sets, 10 reps of push-ups, which we can do in a variety of different ways. We got four sets, 10 reps of a body weight row. This is gonna be a one that's a little bit trickier and you may need tools for it, but I'll give you different options. We've got four sets, 10 reps per side of a lunge. Four sets, 10 reps of a half burpee, and that's it. So it's a relatively short circuit. Um, I'm only gonna be going with you through one set so you can see everything and see the exercises as a whole. But before we get started, let's do what we should normally do and go through a warm up. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a dynamic warm up, get everything moving, my joints moving, so they're happy and ready to move, lubricated for the exercises that we've chosen to do. So I'm gonna start off with some quarter squats, just to get the hips, knees, and ankles moving. Now as I go through this, I'm gonna get deeper and deeper, just to get my hips, knees and ankles moving a little bit more, getting those joints to glide through the motion. So do this, things are gonna loosen up. Now feel some of those points, some of those sticking points, and try and work through it. All right, so I've got some squats in there, got my hips, knees, ankles moving. I'm gonna continue moving my hip a little bit more. I'm just gonna kick front and back, swing that leg forward, Swing the leg like a pendulum. Loosen up that hip a little bit more. For some of you guys, you might need to hold on to something for a little bit of balance support, and that's okay. Now, just try it over on the other side. Swing the leg through, front and back. Just get that hip moving. All right, while I'm here, I'm also gonna get the side. I'm just gonna swing across the side. Just get that hip moving. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna have a little bit of trouble balancing through this movement. I do suggest you use something for a balance support and just hold on to it just so that you're not gonna topple over and you're focusing more on that dynamic stretch than you are trying to balance. So here I go on the other side. Oh, there you go. Exactly what I'm talking about, the balance. Swing that leg through. Whoa, there we go. Swing the leg through. Get that hip moving. Oh. All right, that feels a little bit looser. 
I'm just going to do a little bit of twist around here, just get my spine ready to move. Working on some twisting motion around the spine. And getting into my arms, swinging my arms, getting the shoulders ready to move. I'm doing this, just tapping my shoulders. And away we go. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna practice some pushing motions as well, because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a push-up, so I'm just practicing, rehearsing through that movement of pushing. At the same time, we're also gonna be doing some rows. So this kind of works that same area right there, that front back motion. All right, I'm all warmed up. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with that push-up. Very basic exercise. Most of you guys know how to do a push-up, but I'm gonna take you guys through a regression and progression so you guys can see how you can make this exercise work for you rather than just sticking with your regular push-up. I wanna make sure that everybody can do this exercise, so let's go along with it. I'm gonna start off right here. This is a regression. We're, we're doing this from the knees and making sure my stomach is tucked in, my butt is squeezed and nice and tight. I've got my hands just right here, just behind my shoulders, and I'm going to drop myself all the way down. My body is going to be lowered down in one unit, just like so. So that's down and up. Now we can also do this, um, if you guys got a stairwell, I love using a stairwell. This is one of the best things that you can use for a push-up. So let's come over here and take a look. A stairwell is really awesome. It's an awesome tool for a push-up if you guys are an absolute beginner with uh, push-ups. So all you have to do is just turn around. I'm just going to go right here so you can see. I'm going to put my hands right along here. I'm in the full push-up position. I can walk myself up to a higher step or down to a lower one, whichever it takes to just the right level. And all I do is push down, drive up. Let's get the full 10 push-ups in and I'll take you through this first set for the push-ups. Okay guys, so the next exercise I've got here is gonna be a body weight row. Now this is an exercise where I'm gonna be using a squat rack and a body bar, but you can also use something different like a table, a chair, as long as you find that it's stable enough and you can hang yourself or you can pull yourself up from it. Now if you're doing this from a table, all you have to do is just get underneath the table and find a position where you have a good grip. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right in position, just right underneath the bench here. You gonna get underneath the bench, just right along here. I'm just going to use an underhand grip because this is the best way I can grip this bench. And I'm going to pull myself up. Let's get at this exercise. Let me show you how to do this just from behind me here on the squat rack. So here I am down here on my mat. I've got the bar set up for about my height, which is just above my arm's reach if I'm lying flat on the ground. We're going to start off in this position right here, get underneath the bar, just so that your head is just behind the bar here. Okay, so hold on to the bar, just about shoulder width apart. Now for the easier version, you're going to want to have your knees bent so that it shortens the lever. From this position, all you do is tighten up everything, your core, your abs, your butt, and pull yourself straight up so that the chest touches the bar. All right, so that's three repetitions. 
with me doing it the easier variation, I'm going to do my full set now. So making this a little bit harder, I'm going to extend both my legs, grab onto that bar, and pull myself all the way up. So the next exercise we're going on to is the body weight lunge. Now we can do this as a forward step or a back step. And those of you guys that have knee problems may find it a little bit easier on your knee if you take a step back lunge. So I'm going to show you both a step back and a step front lunge and this is how we do it. So step front lunge, I'm going to start off in this position right here, I'm going to step forward lunge down, drive myself back up. Now step back lunge is the opposite movement. So we take a step back, lunge down, drive up. So we're going to do 10 repetitions per side for four sets for this exercise. I'm going to do a step forward lunge for this exercise. So down, one. next exercise is going to be a half burpee. So a half burpee is basically what the name implies. It's just half a burpee, uh, no spring up at the end. So I'll start off in this position just to show you how it looks like. Here I am starting off. I'm going to bend over, put my hands on the ground, push out my butt, bend my knees, get down in this position right here. Now from here all I do is I hop out, drive my legs out into straight position so I'm in a push-up position just like this, nice and straight, nice tight core, squeeze the butt, and from here I'm going to drive myself back in this position, stand up, and that's the half burpee. Alright, so I'm going to do the full set of the half burpees, so just keep in mind here that this exercise is meant a little bit more to get your heart rate up. It's not incredibly tough, but it will get you moving your heart at least. So, let's take a look at this exercise. Here I am, I'm going to do the full set of 10. So, we went through it slow, now I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to get down, oh, back in, up. Alright guys, so you don't want to forget about stretching either, so here we go. We're going to go with a little bit more top down because it's a little bit more upper body heavy today. So I'm going to start off with my upper trapezius. All I have to do is take my hand here, I'm going to put it behind my back just like this. I'm going to tilt my neck the opposite direction. I'll feel a bit of a pull right along here. Now I'll take the other hand, give it a little bit more of a tug if I need. 
Just hold for about 10 to 15 seconds, 20 tops. All right, that's about it. So let's try the other side. Got my hand, just behind my back, tilt my head over. Give it a little pull. All right, so from here, I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna throw it across my chest and just give it a little pull in. Give it a little bit of a stretch right here. I'll get a little bit in between my shoulder blade as I pull forward. Let's give the other side a try. Let's throw the arm across the chest. Hold above the joint and above the elbow joint. Give it a tug in. And hold. Great. So from here, I'm going to take my hands up, throw my arms right up just like this. I'm going to do a side bend over to the side, stretch out my lat. Switch over to the other side. Right, stretching out the chest. I'm going to take my hands, put them on my back pockets. Bring the elbows back, push the chest out. Just like this. All right, guys, so from here, I'm going to stretch out my hamstring. I'm going to walk back so you can see me a little bit more here. I'm going to extend the leg out, keep my leg nice and straight, bend forward, and slide my hands down till I feel pull in the back of the leg. I feel it now. Now, some of you guys might be a little more flexible if you reach the toe or reach past the toe. That's okay. As long as you go to the point where you feel that mild discomfort. All right, try the other side. So I'm just going to step side view so you can see as well and slide down just till you feel that pull. All right, one more thing I wanna focus on today is just stretching those hips. So to do this, all I'm gonna do is basically a lunge, but I'm gonna take my hand up so that it gives me a little pull around that hip area. So all I do, take a lunge, See this right here, opens up that hip as I lunge down. Drive that arm up on the same side here, and this will pull right along here. All right, let's try the other side. So I'm just gonna turn over to the side so you can see from here. Take a step back, lift the arm up. Hey guys, hope you guys like that workout. So if you guys want to do some personal training with me, all you have to do is send me a private message and I'll video chat with you. It doesn't cost you anything. We'll get a full personal training session in there and we'll take a look at how you're doing. Otherwise, if you guys like the videos, keep watching on our social media streams. Uh, that's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. We've got all our stuff on there. So do look us up and you'll see some more good quality videos, and there's still more to come, so keep posted. Hey, I forgot one more thing. Stay safe.